Okay, I want to talk to you uh, today about um, 3D printing with support. Now, I've got a bit of reputation for just saying never use support. And that's kind of true. Quite often you can use your wits to come up with a different way of designing the thing you want to print in such a way it just won't need support. But what you can do is build your own support design your own support so what this is is one of those quick release tripod mounts and i want to reproduce it and do various things and i'd attach ipads and phones and what have you with this kind of snap in slide so that should clip in place there uh, you can see there's a, a clippy bit there and another bit here that will stop it sliding too far and the idea that they'll extend this design with stuff sticking out here so this is that slidey part um, you can see the sort of clip at the end here and uh, the kind of end stop I suppose you might call it um, that slides through so how would you print this well you could print it that way up um, and that would be okay um, you've got a little bit of a problem here but you might go away with that we're only talking a tiny amount um, so yeah that that might work um, the problem is though then all your uh, layers are going to be in this direction so the strength here is is going to be not great and that's quite thin so you want to print it you know this way up that's fine um, then you've got this completely unsupported oh I'm using the word support bit here so what are you going to do you could let you know um, you can do some fancy things in mesh mixer um, you can just let your slicer uh, automatically fill this this area with supports all the way down to here or you can have a go at building your own now uh, they're not touching in theory that's 0.2 of a mil of a gap there um, now this might be a complete disaster well this is a pretty famous um, item and this is part of that G clamp that's fully printable and it's it's brilliant brilliant design really good but there are a couple of thoughts about you know printing it if you just print it this way up um, you're getting all the layers this way again so we've got the same problem and in fact I, I printed out one and just knocked it ever so slightly with my knee now I've got a big knee and everything but really I don't think it should have broken if it had been rotate it around the x axis 90 degrees and okay that would lay it flat now this is going to be a problem because it's going to need support i mean that really you know yes i am a cheeky monkey and do try various tricks but that yeah that's just going to just be horrible spaghetti down here it would never work as i say i'm no support nielsen but on this occasion we're going to need some support which, you know, that just might print. In fact, that might make a better object. Okay, back to the tripod mount. And it seems to be pretty okay. I mean, that uh, bridging is quite nice. But, yeah, when we look a little bit closer, <clears throat> you can see here, for instance, the bridging is okay, but we've got slight messiness that we're going to have to either clean up or something to get that other parts slide in something i often do is is just get scaling wrong it's such a tiny part this uh yeah you can see this there's quite a bit of mess i've managed to uh remove most of that support but the <laughs> little clip on the end is missing too that came out reasonably well just going to try and remove it one-handed as i hold this camera which is always a bit Okay. But actually, having these, um, as somebody has called them talons for my guitar playing, actually they're quite useful because they're, they're part of you, so you can really feel what they're doing. I can feel I've, I've separated the ball, and it's starting to come free quite nicely. Yeah, and this is what you end up with. And you can see two reasons why I don't like just using support uh, blindly, really. You can see that flat bit 
where it was on the print bed and you've got all that stuff to throw away and of course there is no away and recycling is tricky so obviously the build your own support project uh, with the uh, tripod mount was a disaster uh, you know more of that in another video possibly um, but I have done it successfully in the past for example this what I'm calling the FOBA M3 bolt head which um, yeah it's just a really simple uh, you know extension to a, a bolt so it's like a captive nut except it's a captive bolt I guess um, and you know you've got this built-in support uh, and it prints out quite nicely and you just, they just snap away the the cones and it leaves quite a handsome looking thing and the other thing as I say is to modify the design so it doesn't need support and so am I still no support Nielsen well not quite but I do think it's not always the best solution